Welcome back to Custom Action Figures 101. I'm Rob Panic. This week uh, for Tutorial Tuesday, we're going to go over dry brushing. That's something I've seen quite a bit about in the Facebook groups here recently, so maybe we can shed a little light on the subject. Um, for dry brushing, you're going to need a few things. Um, you're going to need a palette. Have a nice little palette here. You can pick those up from Walmart for three bucks or so. Of course you're going to need your paint and you're going to need a brush for dry brushing. Now there are a few different brushes you can use. Um, everything from here's a Wargamer small dry brush from the Army Painter. It's got a little angled tip on it. Um, here's a little 2.0 fan brush um, works pretty good for dry brushing a little number two flat brush and then here's a quarter inch scruffy brush um, these three brushes uh, you can get these at Walmart you can usually find these in a, in a pack with several other brushes for less than five dollars and also Another option is a little sponge stick. Um, you can buy these in a pack at Walmart. And I'm going to show you a little bit about, more about that here in a minute. Now the figure we're going to be dry brushing. Um, this is a Revenge of the Sith Tarful Wookiee Warrior. I painted him with a flat black just to Give him a nice base base coat, something you'll be able to to see a little better as far as what we're going to be doing for dry brushing. Now, with dry brushing, you're also going to need yourself a rag or a paper towel or an old T-shirt or whatever, because what we're going to do is we're going to load a little paint on the brush, and then we're actually going to rub the paint off once you think you've got it rubbed off good then as you can see with the Wookiee here we're going to go against the grain for example the texture of the Wookiee's fur goes down his leg for our dry brushing technique you're going to go back and forth against the grain and what you're doing is you don't actually rub all the paint off of the brush uh, there's still going to be some paint that's going to be left in the bristles you actually want to kind of press down a little bit open up those bristles and let that paint come out and you can see there got a little gray tint to it uh, we'll do the same thing on the other side, we're going to load up our brush and then take our rag. We're going to wipe our paint away. Go over to the other side. And go with a back and forth across the grain motion. And that's going to add paint. And what you're wanting to do is you're wanting to hit the high points of your texture. You don't want to get the paint down into the valleys of the of the figure. You want to paint the high spots. Now, we'll try one of these other brushes here. This is our little number two flat brush. Same thing with it. We're going to load up some paint. Wipe the paint off, and then as you can see, we're just going to go back and forth across the grain. And you really want to open up the bristles across the grain, and that hits the high points. 
of the figure. As you can see there, we've got a nice detail up on our high points, but you've still got the black base coat down, showing down inside. Get a little bit on the other side, and we're going to do the same thing. Nice highlighted with our darkness, the dark black down into still visible on the down below. The next brush we're going to use is our quarter inch scruffy brush from Plaid. And the same thing, you want to load your paint on the bristles, wipe it off on the rag. Come in across the grain of the texture of your figure. And that's going to give you the nice details you're looking for, but it, you're still going to have the, the base color down below. And this is a really good technique to use over a dark base coat. Um, highlights it and sets off the color. And our other brush we have our little two two zero fan brush. This is a little dollar brownie. Uh, you can pick these up at Walmart. They come in a little art pack a few different brushes and we're going to do the same thing with it as we do with our other brushes. You want to load the bristles and then wipe it off on your on your rag. And then with this fan brush it's, it's you got a little wider width. You don't necessarily have to push down as much with the fan brush. Give it a, a nice light movement with the brush and it's going to to give you a good good dry brush. option like I said is a little it's almost like a makeup sponge uh, with a little sponge and stick and with it I'm basically going to be doing the same thing you're going to load up your sponge rub it off with your rub off your excess on your rag and then come in with the sponge, you really want to have a, a light touch because the sponge absorbs more of your paint than a brush does. So if you're not careful, you can actually load up too much on the sponge and wind up actually painting and you're going to lose the depth of your, of your base color. So you just want to, if you're using a sponge, just give it a nice little light touch with your sponge. Get a little bit around there. For this figure, I've 
layered up a few different colors here different complementary colors um, since it is hair you know I wanted to, to stay with some colors that would be natural looking for hair uh, so I went with some gray um, we went with a couple of different shades of gray a bit of silver and some white as you can see just that quick with a little bit of dry brushing we've completely transformed the look of this figure um, really good technique to learn um, can really add a lot to to the paint job of your figure um, just like anything else like I always say practice it practice it practice it the more you practice the better you're gonna get with it um, try it on try it out on some old figures first um, before you move on to to doing it on a figure that you know is gonna be your finished custom figure and once again thank you for joining us here custom action figures 101 um, be sure to check us out on the web on serpentorslary.com you can look for the custom action figures 101 tab um, join our forum at serpentorslary.info look for my page galacticplastics.net and you can find all of us on facebook serpentors lair custom action figures 101 and galactic plastics just type us into the search term and and we'll come up and I've also got links in the description um, be sure to give the video some love like it share it and check back with us in two weeks we're actually going to be doing tutorial Tuesdays every other Tuesday uh, that way we don't get washed out and, and it gives us a little bit of time to do you know a little bit more in-depth tutorials and to collect ideas from our, our viewers and if you have an idea for a tutorial, anything you want to see us uh, demonstrate for you, be sure to leave us a, a note in the comments. Thanks again for joining us, and may the force be with you.